Um, just a straight up leafy green type of guy. Green leafy vegetables, what we call the brassicas. You know, the cauliflower, the bok choy, the cabbage, the Swiss chard, um, the, the broccoli, the kale. But my leafy greens are gone. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. In this video, we'll learn from Dr. William Lee, is a renowned physician, best-selling author, and researcher who has conducted extensive studies on the relationship between diet and stem cell health. He emphasizes the importance of consuming a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains to support the function and activation of stem cells. Leafy greens, in particular, are a cornerstone of Dr. Lee's recommendations. These vegetables are packed with essential nutrients, antioxidants, and phytochemicals that have been shown to promote stem cell activity and regeneration. As a special bonus, we have included some stem cell boosting recipes with leafy greens. I find recipes confusing. They actually contain um, sulforaphanes, isothiocyanates. These are chemical names that, you know, people that are listening or watching don't need to memorize, but just know that Mother Nature imbued and this incredible set of natural chemicals in these leafy greens. And when we eat those, those leafy greens actually help to help our angiogenesis system actually stay more balanced. Um, uh, not too many blood vessels, so no overage of blood vessels. If the blood vessels try to overgrow, like they like a cancer might try to do it, these leafy greens, the sulforaphanes, they pretty mo much mow down those extra blood vessels and prevent them from growing. The dietary fiber that you find in a piece of bok, in a, in a serving of bok choy or cabbage, wonderfully actually s feeds the gut bacteria as well. And in fact, that's the prebiotic aspect of some of these foods. But the sulforaphanes also help to spark the function and help the gut, some of the gut bacteria also function better. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Dr. William Lee is a strong advocate for the consumption of leafy greens due to their high content of isothiocyanates, compounds that have been shown to have significant health benefits. Hear Dr. Lee to tell us more about isothiocyanates and leafy greens. This is important. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I am at the market once again, and I want to show you a couple of things that I found that I think is worthy of showing you, sharing with you. Okay, so I don't go around trashing other people's products, but I want to show you amazing things that I'm actually looking at. Check this out, kale, right? Kale is a brassica. It contains uh, healthy bioactives uh, like isothiocyanates, hard to pronounce, ITCs. They uh, create sulforaphanes, and the things that make broccoli take, taste kind of sulfury. Uh, but it's really good for you. It's good for your immune system, good for cancer fighting, good for your circulation, good for your gut microbiome. Most of these uh, uh, kale has its good source of dietary fiber. You always think about kale as one thing, right? Like this. Always think about kale looking like this. That's your mother's kale. Let me show you some really cool kale. This is a kind of kale called laxinato, also called dinosaur kale. Doesn't this look like dinosaur skin? Check it out. Jurassic kale, that's what this is, all right? Lacinato is also called cavalinero. A lot of people don't know, but this kind of kale, dinosaur kale, is what's used to create minestrone soup. You know those little black um, uh, little squares in the soup floating around? That is dinosaur kale, uh, laxinato kale, Tuscan kale. Is the now, I want to show you something that is more unusual, because I haven't seen this before. Spigarello kale. Look at this. Spigarello kale. Wow, very different, huh? Look at that, looks like a arugula almost. Um, but this is a kind of kale, and it just shows you how many different types of healthy foods there. Look at this right here, All right? Looks like, like grow under the sea or something. Healthy, good, good for you. If you don't know how to actually cook something, um, I have no idea how to cook spigarello kale. What I recommend you do is to type it into Google, Spigarello kale, for example, uh, Tuscan kale, dinosaur kale recipe, and hit video, and watch somebody who knows what they're doing 
show you how to make something absolutely delicious. Dr. William Lee has conducted extensive research on the health benefits of cruciferous vegetables, which are rich in sulfur ethane. A powerful compound known for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Sulfur ethane is a type of isothiocyanate found in broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and other cruciferous vegetables. It has been shown to have a variety of health benefits, including cancer prevention. Sulfur ethane has been linked to a reduced risk of various types of cancer, including prostate, breast, and colon cancer. Anti-inflammatory effects, sulfur ethane can help reduce inflammation in the body, which is associated with many chronic diseases. Detoxification Sulfur ethane can support the body's natural detoxification processes, helping to eliminate harmful toxins. Stem cell activation, sulfur ethane has been shown to promote the activation and function of stem cells, which play a crucial role in tissue repair and regeneration. Now, let's hear about another beneficial compound in leafy greens. This is important. This turns out to be Swiss chard, rainbow chard. Look at that beautiful color of the stems. Um, I really think this is a, quite an amazing, I think like blood vessels, which is what I study. Um, but they're really, really beautiful. And it turns out that Swiss chard uh, is a, a member of the beet family. Beet family, like uh, spinach, also is the same member of the family. So what's actually in uh, Swiss chard and beets and spinach that's actually good for your health? It turns out that these plants that glow, grow very low to the ground, okay, they pick up a lot of nitrogen from the soil. Now, nitrogen from the soil uh, actually gets converted in the body, in the gut, into nitric oxide. So here's how it works. Whether you're eating a beet, whether you're eating spinach, or whether you're having... Swiss chard, this beautiful stuff. Look at that color. What happens when you chew it really well, okay, so that's why it has to be tasty, the um, tongue microbiome, healthy bacteria that's on your tongue, actually will convert the nitrogen in the plant from the soil into a form that when you swallow the food, in this case, Swiss chard, will actually turn into uh, nitric oxide it's absorbed into your bloodstream. What's nitric oxide? Nitric oxide is actually a type of gas, but it doesn't bubble or anything like that. It's in our bloodstream. It causes our blood vessels to dilate, lowers blood pressure, okay, which is a calming thing, but also helps to recruit stem cells, uh, one of our body's health defense systems, to really help us heal and repair from inside out. So I'm going to just pick one of these leaves just to show you um, just how beautiful this can be. I'm going to take a small one. Here, look at this. This baby here has got full of nitrogen from the soil and actually can help recruit stem cells. Nitric oxide is a molecule produced by the body that plays a crucial role in various physiological processes, including blood flow, blood pressure regulation, and immune function. Certain amino acids, such as arginine and citrulline, are precursors to nitric oxide production. Leafy greens, while not a primary source of these amino acids, can still contribute to overall nutrient intake and support the body's ability to produce nitric oxide. Additionally, the antioxidants and phytochemicals found in leafy greens can help protect the body's cells and tissues, which may indirectly support nitric oxide production and function. Some of the key benefits of leafy greens include antioxidant protection. Leafy greens are rich in antioxidants, such as vitamins C and E, which help protect cells from damage and promote healthy aging. Fiber content. The fiber in leafy greens can help to regulate digestion, support gut health, and promote overall well-being. Nutrient dense. Leafy greens are packed with essential vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients, which are vital for optimal health and stem cell function. Anti-inflammatory properties. Some leafy greens, such as kale and spinach, have anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce inflammation throughout the body, which is associated with many chronic diseases. Here's Dr. Lee to tell us more about the benefits of leafy greens. This is important. 
leafy greens, some of the polyphenols and leafy greens can also um, slow down and some of them actually look like they can lengthen the telomeres as well. Dr. William Lee has extensively researched the connection between diet and telomere length, a key factor in aging. He has found that certain nutrients and compounds found in leafy greens can play a significant role in protecting and lengthening telomeres. Telomeres are protective caps at the end of chromosomes that shorten with each cell division. As telomeres get shorter, cells age and become less functional. Studies have shown that shorter telomeres are associated with an increased risk of age-related diseases and a shorter lifespan. Leafy greens are rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that can help protect telomeres from oxidative damage and support their length. Some of the key nutrients found in leafy greens that are beneficial for telomere health include Vitamin C This powerful antioxidant helps protect cells from oxidative damage, which can contribute to telomere shortening. Folic acid Folic acid is essential for DNA synthesis, and repair, which can help maintain telomere length. Vitamin E, another antioxidant, vitamin E, helps protect cells from oxidative stress and may contribute to telomere maintenance, polyphenols. Leafy greens are rich in polyphenols, plant-based compounds that have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. These compounds may help protect telomeres from damage. Here's Dr. Lee to tell us more about the benefits of leafy greens. This is important. Now, what are some of the vegetables that I um, really want to emphasize are really beneficial for gut health and therefore hormonal balance and health? Well, there's a whole group of vegetables you should know about called brassica, B-R-A-S-S-I-C-A, -S -S brassica. So what are some examples of these? All right, you go to the produce section and you ask the manager, produce manager, hey, you have any brassica here? And what he or she will do is point out broccoli, broccoli rabe, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, kale, and collard greens. And by the way, you can also get um, the sprouts from these as well. Broccoli sprouts, kale sprouts. Um, I actually um, go to the farmer's market and I will often find um, uh, in the springtime and uh, uh, broccoli sprouts uh, or kale sprouts, which are absolutely delicious. Okay, these Brassica have a lot of prebiotic polyphenols. One of them is called isothiocyanates. They are important for gut health. They're good for metabolic health, metabolic balance, and they actually help to fight harmful body fat, which lowers inflammation in your body, which then helps your hormones stay in balance as well. You see, this is actually like a complicated orchestra with a lot of different instruments. Your hormones and your organs and your cells are all kind of playing a beautiful orchestral sound. And when one instrument is out of balance, it can actually affect the other instruments as well. And so the whole piece actually sounds out of tune. And this is why you want to actually keep those hormones balanced. All right, what's another source of dietary fiber that's really good? Because brassica also have a lot of dietary fiber. Here are some delicious stem cell boosting recipes featuring leafy greens. The first recipe is the green smoothie bowl. Ingredients, spinach, kale, avocado, banana, chia seeds, hemp seeds, plant-based protein powder, berries, and a drizzle of honey or maple syrup. Instructions. Blend all ingredients until smooth and creamy. Serve in a bowl and top with additional toppings like nuts, seeds, or fresh fruit. Oh, this is good. Next, an easy grilled leafy greens salad recipe. Ingredients, kale, spinach, or other leafy greens, grilled or roasted vegetables, e.g. carrots, bell peppers, zucchini, grilled chicken or tofu, and a lemon ahini dressing. Instructions, toss the grilled vegetables and protein with the leafy greens and dressing. Oh, this is good. On to our third recipe is a quick leafy greens stir fry. Ingredients, a variety of leafy greens, e.g. kale, spinach, bok choy, stir fry vegetables, e.g. broccoli, carrots, mushrooms and a protein source, e.g. tofu, chicken, shrimp. Instructions. Saute the vegetables and protein in a wok or skillet, then add the leafy greens and cook until tender. Serve with brown rice or quinoa. 
Yep, this is good. The final recipe is the basic yet flexible leafy green and bean soup. Make a large batch and freeze portions to have a quick meal another day. Ingredients, leafy greens, beans e.g., lentils, chickpeas, vegetable broth, onions, carrots, and spices. Instructions. Saute the onions and carrots, then add the broth, beans, and leafy greens. Simmer until the vegetables are tender. This is good. The last stem cell boosting recipe is the leafy green and quinoa salad. Ingredients, cooked quinoa, leafy greens, chopped vegetables, e.g. cucumber, tomato, red onion, and a vinaigrette dressing. Instructions, combine the quinoa, vegetables, and leafy greens in a bowl. Toss with the vinaigrette dressing. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Cloud playlist for more information on stem cell boosting diets. Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.